underneath, I'm going to start on the left side, and rather than going using the left hand to the right hand under the knee, we're going to go from the right hand to the left hand, and in order to do this, the left hand is going to cross underneath the right hand and catch the hoop underneath as it does so. So you want to get used to doing that. I'm going to be doing that on both sides of the body. So on the right side, rather than going right to left hand on the outside of the knee, we're going to be going from left to right. And I'm crossing my right arm underneath, ready to receive the hoop. That's what happens when it goes wrong. From the outside to the inside, the hoop continues on its vertical plane. As it comes up in front of me, I'm going to lean my shoulder in, drop the hoop, turn my body round, take it as it comes off the other side. This is basically a pop in and out. A pop in and out. I'll show you what that looks like on the side. A pop in and out. Shoulder, body, shoulder, turn. Shoulder, body, shoulder, turn. Shoulder in, body, shoulder out. So the whole sequence looks like this. Under the knee, up over the shoulder, pop off. Swap hands. To the outside knee, under, up vertical, pop in, pop out. And actually I've got it in the correct hand this time. I don't always do things equally on opposite sides. And then onto the other side, under, pop. So I think that's it. After the other tutorial, which is part B, if you haven't seen part B first, see part B, because I made them that way round. Because I'm a bit like Winnie the Pooh. You will be able to see my brain ticking while I do it, but that's okay, and I'm probably going wrong. Like that, that was my very 